Hi, uh, Aaron here, um, also known as Dutch Wolf. Um, recently, Darktable added a module to, at least in the master branch, to uh, manipulate colors with a color lot. Uh, they decided not to use a HLD C lot, uh, I think for a couple of reasons. It's, it's, it's they wanted to have something that was editable by the users inside of Darktable while they were using the model module and also something that would uh, fit inside an XMP file uh, so people could easily share their different edits. So uh, they decided to go for a colorlet module which only has a couple of key colors which then get interpolated into a uh, full lut. Um, they did provide a tool, dark table chart, is below here, so just explain below here, um, which um, you which is used to create DT styles. So to uh, and in this example, they describe here to uh, match a in camera JPEG to the raw file. Um, I'm going to show you how to without an IT8 target um, and without a picture taken with an actual camera, you can still use this tool to make uh, DT styles. Uh, pay attention, you do need a recent master uh, version of Darktable, because you need to include um, this commit, because of the number of patches we're going to use. So what do you need is a recent version of Darktable, a very very recent version of the master branch. If you go to install um, entirely on the bottom they want to have the git version so here is explained to have the git version um, I personally install this into a virtual machine because the, um, it uh, dark tables um, database is not backwards compatible with um, previous versions or at least for the database is only forwards compatible so if you install a new version of dark table uh, then the old version of Darktable can't, uh, if you ever want to go back, because this is a development version, so probably sometimes want to go back, you can. So it's better to install it in a separate place like a virtual machine or a Groot, change root. Um, what you further need is a, um, a chart. I created one here that's based on a uh, HLD CLUT with some added things and made the pixel decoder and a companion CHT file, uh, which I also created. Uh, downloads, uh, I will add some download links inside the description of the video. Um, if you have that all together, then um, well, start up your virtual machine. Um, and depending on what type of virtual machine, you need to get the files to So I did this earlier, um, and I, I already loaded here some uh, files. So now you want to open this in, uh, for example, in GIMP to get a um, nice. Um, now to to be able to uh, say, let's say we want to apply a GMake color LUT, let's say, what's, um, I want to have a nice Polaroid-like effect. this uh, okay and what we can now do is uh, file export as
close this. We don't want this in original uh, file changed because we're going to need that one. Um, so the next step is to um, make sure that you have already Darktable installed. And you also want to have um, added the following file, Darktable RC. And it should include this line, allow lab output is true, because we're going to export to uh, LAB uh, color space. Uh, the rest doesn't really matter, it's just personal preferences mostly. Uh, but this one is really uh, mandatory. It's also in the description of the original uh, way. Um, so after that we can open Darktable. Uh, if you have installed it from the Git repository in the default location, then it will be in uh, opt Darktable bin. So let's start that. This is all a bit slow because, as I said, I was working in a um, with a um, uh, with a virtual machine. I'm probably going to cut this out. Ah, there it is. Um, so now we want to. Export our color LUT that we just created. Now, oh, first, I have to import. Sorry about that. Uh, this one. Import. Go back to light table. Um, and export as a PFM float in the lab color space and do that also with the original uh, LUT file you've created. Uh, I've done this earlier so I'm going only going to do export the, the, uh, the just created file. So we export, it's pretty click, quick and after that, after it's exported um, in this case I close Darktable again and we're going to load the Darktable chart tool. And in the source image we're going to uh, load the original uh, chart, which I already, as I said, already exported plus the CHT file I have. Do I have it here? No, of course not, because that would have been... And just resize it to fit. So, and then in the reference values we want to set color chart image, reference image, get the image we just exported, so in this case the Polaroid PX680, resize the chart again, I made this chart so it just fits the whole image so you can just easily resize it. And then in process select the grey uh, values which are GS01 to GS16. Uh, and export to ROS data as CVS. So uh, just leave the name as is. Uh, this is a bit easier if you want to, uh, the raw data to CVS is a bit easier if you also want to um, edit the file. Because um, it's more, more easier, it's uh, target table chart is not really finished, so you have to edit the file a bit. And add two patches, uh, and you can also alter the description here. Um, I leave it currently at is. So we want to add two patches: HDR00 with 100 
zero, zero. Uh, L source, A source, B source, L one hundredth, zero, zero, and a HDR zero one. 200, 0, 0, 200, 0, 0. This is um, apparently needed for the, uh, to get it to work with um, HDR imagey, images as described. Edit the CVS and add the following. So that's what we just did. Um, so I'll save this file, close it, make sure we're at the root, uh, in our home directory where we also save the file, and now we want to uh, call darktable let with the command csv polaroid um, 24 patches, this is, uh, and an output name. So in this case, I will also call it uh, Polaroid PX 680.dt style. I think I missed that. Oh well. Okay, there it is. Um, so now we have created a DT style. And we're going to open normal dark table again, or at least the, the Git version. Um, I have prepared some images where we can load the. As you can see, I already had have some load the the DT style. Just click import in the style tab in the light table, and. Um, Let's just load uh, import light table in the style tab. Um, select the DT style you just created. Open that one, and you have one. Um, I have some images before where we can try out. I edited these before in. in uh, dark table and we're going to try some of these um, styles I created with this uh, technique um, to see what they do. So for example I'm going to um, duplicate uh, these images uh, a couple of times so that we can uh, compare stuff and then um, apply the one I just created to a random image. And as you can see the colors really changed. If I for example do a uh, Tmax, um, you do have to pay attention these styles do create a um, a curve. Um, so you probably want to uh, duplicate the curve you had in this one also into this one or disable the curves in here because they're often quite straight anyway in this case. Um, so this is another one. And I think I just As you can see, that this is uh, quite easy. And as I said, some become pretty some become a bit dark this way uh, because the, the curve gets uh, lost that I had originally applied. So then you just go in here um, at a new instance a tone curve and for example 
medium contrast. I think it was medium contrast. Uh, in this case, hmm. so that that's how you can use these. to uh, apply a decent amount of um, LUTs to uh, a dark table uh, workflow. Um, I will provide links inside the description to some of the files needed and tools needed. Um, so yeah. That's it, hope you enjoyed this and hope you find this useful.